So hello everybody and welcome to one of the coolest videos I'm going to probably do this year. So into this video I am going to show you how you can export your Power BI data to Word, to a Word document, and print it to PDF and send it to whoever you want. So basically paginated reports out of load. So let's get started. I'm looking forward to this so much. Okay, so we're going to create an order confirmation based on the data that we have on Power BI. So we're going to export the data to Word document, we're going to print it, and we're going to email it, okay? And to do this, you need to have the April uh, 2021 Power BI desktop because we need the integration with Flow. And we're going to use some premium Flow actions. So you need to have at least the Office 365 E3 license, I think. I'm not very good at licensing for Flow, but I have, that's what I have and it works. So it should work for you too if you have that. So the first thing we're going to do is to see what fields we need from Power Automate. So we're going to click on this Power Automate uh, button. This is a custom visual, so you need to go and grab it from the App Store. It's not certified yet, so you might not be able to use it just yet. Sorry about that. So this is the Power Automate. And we need to add here the fields that we want to interact with Power Automate. So we're going to go to Customers, and I'm going to get Company Name. And then from Orders, Order Details, we're going to get the Order ID, the Quantity, the Unit Price, and I want to have from Products, the Product Name in there, okay? On the real one, I have put all the fields, but I don't think I need to show you everything because otherwise you're going to get um, overwhelmed. So here we have the fields that we need. We now go to Word, and this is just, at the moment, it's just a normal Word document, nothing else. What I've done is I've taken out this developer. If you control click on the ribbon, customize the ribbon, and then you turn on the developer, then you'll see a new tab in here, and we need that in order to be able to create our fields that Flow is going to use to fill in the form. So the first thing that we're going to do is fill in the business name. In For us, the business name is our company name, so I decided to call the, those things the same because it actually makes it easier for me then to identify what is what. Is what. So we're going to create a plain text content control. And then you go here to properties and you're going to call this company name. Okay, so there you have it. And now this is for receiving just one single line. I'll show you then how to do that in Flow. It took me forever to figure it out. And now we want to fill all the items and all the products and all the things that are for that customer. So in here, we're going to do a repeating section content control. And we are going to call that order line ID. For example, you can call it whatever you want. And then we need to fill in each of the fields for that table. So in item ID, we're going to have a new um, um, text control, and we're going to call this, what was it called? It is called order ID two. So we're going to call it order ID. Product name is called product name. I think you want word. Yep, product name. In reality, you don't need to call them the same, but it's just so much easier afterwards. So, quantity. And then here, we're going to put our unit price inside. You need to put it inside the repeating content, otherwise it won't work. So, this is unit price. Okay, so now we have our Word document completed. In my demo, I have filled in all the parameters, but it will take us too long if I show you everything. So you just do the same for each, uh, each one of them. So now I'm going to save it. This is going to save on SharePoint. Can you see it here? You see vaccine tracker vaccine, and I'm going to show you, this is this file here, quotation Example, this is the example that I'm showing here. So if you open this in Word Online, you will see, right? So here are the interactive 
fields. There is no developer tab in here, so you can't create it from there. So now we have our Word document. We have our fields connected. So what we need to do is to go back to Power BI and then start to create our flow. Okay, so now we're going to create the flow. So we have added the fields that we wanted, and then I'm going to go here, click edit. It says here, set up your flow, dot, 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 edit. Perfect. And I already have the flows created, but obviously we're going to do from scratch. We're going to start from a template. It's a lot easier to get started. And then here we're going to continue. And the Excel thing we don't need. I do have a video on how to export to Excel, so I'll link it down below. Delete. And now let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is initiate the variable. There. The variable name is going to be var order id line. Then we're going to, this is going to be an array and contain the Power BI data. The next step is going to be to append. No, actually we're going to, sometimes the loop comes by itself, sometimes it doesn't. So for each row, of the table because what we're going to create mainly for is for this table in here. So it's iterates for each row of Power BI. So we go back here. So from here, from our input variable, we are going to append, append, append to array variable. So we get the information that comes from the variable that we just created. And here, we're going to input the information like in JSON format, kind of. So this is the information just for the table. We will take care of the other fields later, just for the table, to be able to iterate for each row of the table. So we're going to have four columns, if you remember, it was order ID, product name, quantity, and unit price. And those are the ones that you see here, or the ID, product name, quantity, unit price, and then you match them with, yeah? So we continue. The next one is actually where the actual magic happens. And this is called populate. And this is the one that is premium too, a Microsoft Word template. You see this premium? Office 365 E3, which is what I have, works. I can use it, so. Check your licensing. But we don't want this inside. No, 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 sorry. Can I put it outside? Yes, thank you. Okay, so here, I'm going to put it in SharePoint. And we're going to tell, here we're, first we're going to say, where is our template? Do you remember this template? This template, we save it into SharePoint. So where is it? It is actually on SharePoint, on a folder called Vaccine Tracker, and find the template. Where is the template? Here, quotation example, okay? And now suddenly interesting things appear. First is our company name, you see just one line, and then we see these as a table with the options. Now you could, if you just had one thing for the table, you could just fill it in each so order ID here, line ID here, but that's not what we want. We want to iterate the table that we're creating above. So you click on here, and then there you put your variable line. And for the company name, this took me forever, forever. I couldn't find anywhere, nobody, I mean, there were hints everywhere, but it, it was just complicated stuff. This is how I solved it. Um, company name. The array creates all the fields, I believe, like in a table, right? So company name is going to get repeated. If you just drop in company name in here like that, you would create one word document per line. And you don't want that. Obviously we want to have unique values. So in order to be able to unique, to do unique values, now, you need to use the expression. As you can see, the expression thing doesn't show in here, which is a little bit annoying. So we have two choices. Either we go to flow and create it there, or you guys told me that you could actually do at and then put into curly brackets whatever you're writing. 
and it actually works. So I'm going to paste it from my code, but it is actually, I'll, I'll, I'll show you here what, I, what the code actually is so you can use it. And this will give you just the first line. So if no customer has been selected, this is going to give you just the name of the first customer, which you should be careful with. But because we want to have one per customer, you have to filter one customer and then get the, the, the report, the word report. So works beautifully. And do this first for all the lines that you want to have, basically. So now we have our Word document and now we need to create the Word document. We haven't created it yet, believe it or not. So create a file. There, and then we're going to create it in the same folder. So we're going to go to SharePoint, folder path is going to be our vaccine tracker folder, right? And then the name is going to be, because obviously if you just put name, it will override because the name is going to be the same. You want, I want to have distinct names. So I am going to put timestamp first. And again, I'll put the code here so you can see what I write. You won't see it now. Well, I can show you actually. Uh, and then I'm going to do order docx. So that's our file name. And the file content is going to be our Microsoft Word. Now, let me show you, because if you go here to pick code, you can actually see, this is what I put. If you would do this in flow, you will only need to put UTC now, but if you put the at and the curly brackets, it'll show. Okay, now, how do you create, we're, we've, we have now our Word document, and what I want to do is to create a PDF. This is a order confirmation, you might want to send it in PDF. And I've shown you before that you can actually create a PDF if you save it onto OneDrive and then OneDrive has a function create to PDF. Well, Word has a function too. What I've noticed though is that sometimes there's a little bit of delay so the Word doesn't, document doesn't get created before it is, gets to be converted, so it fails. So we're going to insert a slight delay. I found that like 30 seconds is like more than enough. 30. And then here I'm going to put seconds. And now that we have that, we're going to convert Word here to PDF. Again, premium. What to do? But you need the premium for the other one, so you need to have premium. So SharePoint site, YouTube, document libraries are vaccine tracker, and the file is uh, name. Now, I tried ID, I tried um, path, I tried all kinds of ways to reference to the file. The only thing that worked was the name, just telling you. So pick name. <laughs> it works beautifully once you pick name. Now, now we have converted it, but we need to create it. So we're going to, again, next step, create PDF, oh, you create file, sorry, create file, SharePoint, and then again, where do you want to create it? I'm going to put it on YouTube folder. My path is going to be the vaccine tracker. I want to put it in the same place. And then the file name is going to be name.pdf. Put the extension, otherwise it, it won't work. And then, is the content of the previous step that needs to be converted into a PDF document, okay? Now, we're going to email this thing, and you might say, oh, I just use email, whatever is in here. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That's not the way it works. Unfortunately, we need to have a pre-step, which is get file content. Drove me nuts too to get this, but uh, it works. I'm happy. So, YouTube. The file identifier, I chose ID, seems to work beautifully. And the next step, now you can email to somebody. So we're going to put email and send email, v2, that's fine. 
subject, it, it is mandatory, so order confirmation. You can put anything, you can use one of the tags also if you want. And then font is high, whatever, whatever. Is also mandatory. And here in the advanced options, that's where you actually refer to your document. So I'm going to show you. You have the attachment name, and this is going to be the name of the file. And then the attachment content is actually the file content from get file content. So get file content, file content. Now we take a deep breath. Two is required, obviously, obviously. Who are we sending it to is obviously required, which is to myself. Beautifully. Now, cross our fingers. Go back. Apply. Make sure you apply, right? And then go back to the report. Here is a company name. I have filtered by one company name. Here's our beautiful button that we're going to call um, mm, mm, button text. Here it is. Create order. We're going to control click because we are in Power BI Desktop. And again, this says that it's triggered. It doesn't mean that it's successful. We need to check that it did it successfully. So you go here and then you check your flow. If it worked, You can actually see your flow running, it's actually super cool. You can see it here. So it is on the delay for the 30 seconds. And it actually already com completed the... So here it is our Word document. You see business name and here are all the lines for that customer. And then it's going to create the PDF, here it is. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. And now, did we get an email? Let's take. And look what we have here. Oh, beautiful. Works like a charm, huh? So here you can see where I have filled all the, I think it's this one. All the values, right? So you can see here, you can you can concatenate values, you can... Uh, yeah, it, it works beautifully. Just put first on whatever you just want to have the unique values. And here it is. This is so cool. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with it. Um, really, really cool. Paginated reports using Flow. This is the modern way to do paginated stuff. I love it. I think it's great. I fingers crossed that they don't take it away. Fabulous. I hope you're as excited as me. Looking forward to what you're going to create using this. I have another flow that I'm dying to do. So I'm going to create it. This actually is going to be on the, on the service. We'll talk about it more next week or maybe week after. We'll see. So we don't do a lot of too much flow anyhow. Okay. I will see you again on Thursday with a DAX uh, Fridays video. And until then, as always, take care. Hope you enjoy the video and bye-bye.